Can't you actually do something about this? Yes, I can, but the last time that I shouted in the middle of a town I got yelled at, so... <laughs> That's rich. Who would yell at the Dragonborn? That's a good point. Yeesh. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Okay, yeah, okay. I know that face. That's the face of, um... Yes, my Thane, where the heck have you been this whole time? <laughs> How's it going, Lydia? We heading out? Um, maybe. Um... I still a thane here, or...? It means that the Jarl, and the rest of the Hold, has deemed you a hero. Who am I kidding? Nowadays, a lot of successful merchants get that title, for helping to fill the coffers of Jarls all around the province. Right. You don't sound terribly enthusiastic about this, and honestly, I can't blame you. I have my doubts about whether or not you actually had a significant role in slaying that dragon. It may as well have just been the guards in Irolith. Look at the other people in the Jarl's court. There's his brother, Prongar, who's a good fighter and well-meant, but too much of a horker brain to do anything significant. Then there's Nazim, who's Once done nothing but own a farm, and the Jarl frequently allows him into the Cloud District. Just listen to the way he talks to people. Then there are the Grey Manes and the Battleborns, who are under the assumption that they're so important that the rest of the city cares about their little feud. Now there's you. The people I just listed, some of them are decent, but none of them are heroic. You'll have to forgive my suspicions. You've been sitting on that for a while, haven't you? <laughs> well... It's been a long time since then. I've slain a lot of dragons. I think I'm at least better than the guards by now, don't you? I suppose you look formidable, but looks don't count for much. Prowess in battle isn't always correlated with virtue. So, are we off to High Hrothgar now then? We could either go through the pass near Falkreath, or travel around the throat of the world. Ah... Uh. I mean, yeah, sort of, but we've got a few things to do first. Fair enough. I can help if you'd like. I like her. <laughs> All right. Follow me, I guess. I'm right behind you. Though honestly, you probably should just... Thane. Probably should just hang out around here for a little while, and we can get going in the morning. I also don't need your shield. Okay. You do whatever it is you're gonna do. I'm gonna go get a bed for the night, and we'll see if... We'll see if we can't find who else was to see me in the morning. Alright. Just remember that I'm responsible for you. So don't get stabbed, shot, or flayed alive. <laughs> I'll do my best. Argvita, you want to keep her company? I mean, sure. Dragonborn, the savior of Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Alduin's wings, 
They did dark hey. the oh, well met, friend. How can I help you? God, it's loud in here. And his scales sharp inside. Uh, broom. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. And if how do wins, man is gone from this world, lost in the shadow. Black wings unfurled. Then came the tongues on that terrible day. Oh, great. Day. I just realized Steadfast this is going to be my lullaby. As winter, they entered the fray. And all That's heard right. the news of Alduin's doom. Song of Skyrim, sky shattering gloom. And so the tongues freed us from Maldwin's rage. Gave the Good morning, Yarvita. Good morning. Ushered in a new age. If Maldwin's eternal, then eternity's done. For his story is over, and the dragons let's, uh, are gone. Let's get out of here, shall we? Just... I'm with you, Thane. Alright. And it's still raining. Hmm. Ah, he sold her, was it? What brings you Let's, to the Let's uh get out of the market I'm real quick. To buy food, I suppose hey, John. you don't need to worry about that. Only the farm does have a Okay. It's still too loud to hear myself think out here. Take a good Hopefully look around. it's quieter I'm sure in here. You'll find what you're looking for. I have a nine. Not, Can't believe it's you. I might I was just asking story. around if anyone knew where I might find you. Ah, uh, we came in here to find some quiet, but what, what are you talking about? My master and I recently arrived here in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. It's been a long journey, but he sent me to see if I could find you. I thought I'd check the tavern and in here in White Run first, and then set out for the other towns tomorrow. But fortunately, the gods favor me today, as you seem to have found me instead. He's heard of your escape from that awful dragon attack and urgently needs to speak with you. I know nothing more than that. It's at the inn in Fulcry. Would you please meet him at your earliest convenience? He only wishes to talk to you. Yeah, he gave me this note to give you, and a small token of his appreciation. Now then, I bid you good day as I have another errand to them. No rest for the weary, as they say. Good day. Good... Day... Well, I guess we know who was looking for you here. Falkreath? Yeah. Well, it's not too far. We could probably just take a carriage there and then head up the mountain. Um... Still here. Yeah. I actually have some possibly better armor for you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. <laughs> so you haven't changed as much as I thought. <laughs> here. See if this fits you a little bit better. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, here's a question. Since I'm completely in the dark about this, what exactly does a house carl do? I keep you and your belongings safe, or die trying. Before you, I was responsible for guarding the Jarl's children. As much as I respect Jarl Balgruf, his spawn are a nightmare. <laughs> All right, I think... What are you giving me that look for? You definitely need it. Gods, you're going to get yourself hurt like that. 
Come over here. Uh... Thanks? I Let's can tell go. you're no stranger to the wilds. I'm sure we can meet your hunting needs. Hmm, not much of a hunter, actually. Two Falkreath, then. With Lydia. Well, it's good to meet you, Lydia. Uh, I'm Yarnby, the, the Harbinger. Um. Yeah? I... don't worry, I'll do something about this. Soonish. <laughs> Let's not blow the ears off the Khajiit, shall we? Exactly, wilderness, but it'll work. I'll be up on the mountain soon, then. No, <laughs> did you, uh? Did you cause that little bit of thunder just now? I... might have. But it worked. Hi, Bjorlin. Need a ride? Actually, yeah. Where do you want to go? We're headed to Falkreath. Climb and back and we'll be off. Alright. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to right run from all Rorix. What is it? Dragons? Whatever um, you need, Dragonborn. Just say the word. Oh. Uh, it might actually be dragons. Tell me I'm not the only one who heard that. Nope, you're not the only one who heard that. Right, now where did that guy say that we... I didn't even read the note. Uh... From... Marcus Janus. Okay, dear friend, after I got word from your survival... Word of your survival from the terrible dragon attack at Helgen, I came to Skyrim as fast as I could. And probably got laid up at the border, <laughs> considering. I sent my trusty messenger Patsy in- oh, that's who that was- in the hope that he will be able to find you and give you this letter. You're the only one of the sur- you are... one of- I- mm -hmm. You know how hard it is to read with one eye? You're one of the only survivors and you may have explicit knowledge that is vital to me. I would very much like to discuss the events of that day with you. There are These are truly desperate times, and I hope that you will accept this small gift of gold as a token of my appreciation. Meet me in the Dead Man's Drake Falkreath. Sincerely, Mark Stranis. Okay. Yeah, let's get inside before that dragon drops down on our heads, shall we? You say that, but you're one of the few people who could actually do something about it. And have it stick. It's fair. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. <sighs> Who here looks like a Marcus Janus? Hello, friend. Not you. Right then. You don't dabble in magic much, do you? Can't say I blame you. I barely trust any of it myself. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much only healing. Who's that bard? Oh, he's new. Hey. It's good that the war is finally over. Hopefully the people of Skyrim can resume their lives in peace. 
Agreed. Are you Marcus Janus? You wanted to see me about Helgen? Oh, bless the divines, you came! Well met, and welcome. We have much to discuss. Will you tell me, what happened at Helgen? I mean, we're kind of on a schedule, but... We drink to our youth and today's come and gone. You already knew Helgen was attacked by a dragon. <laughs> Have you seen one yet, or how new are you to Skyrim? Well, no, now that you mention it. Give me a second, Marcus. Hey, Delacorte. Need something? Can you take a break? Sure. My voice could use a rest. Thank you kindly. Great. Sorry about that. Hmm. Oh, bless the divines, you came! Well met, and welcome. We have much to discuss. Will you tell me, what happened at Helgen? Okay, well... well you've already said you didn't, you've never really seen a dragon, but... I mentioned the other part that... Excuse me, Lydia. I almost got my head cut off. Would you like to know what happened before or after that happened? We'll start with after. Your past is none of my concern. That you survived, however, is. Did you see if anyone else made it out of there? Where are the families, the children? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't think anyone but me and Rayloff and Ulfric made it out alive. <sighs> then it's as I feared. My brother and his family are lost. Gods damn it all. I'd hoped for better news. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. Even if they survived the bandit attack, if they were still in Helgen... Bandits got them. Probably. Yes, I've heard the fort is full of them. But appearances can also be deceiving. If I'm right, these are no bandits at all. I have it on good authority there is a man known only as Val inside the keep. He's the leader of a small group of mercenaries, for lack of a better term. Their aim is to kill Thalmor wherever they're found. That they've come out of hiding is beyond mysterious. They're insurrectionists. A resistance movement, if you will. <laughs> well, if they're insurrectionists, I know why they've come here. And you know this guy? His name is Valerius Tiberius Artoria. We served for many years together in the Imperial Legion, as captains under Titus Mede II during the Great War. He was a good man in those days, an honorable man. Then the Aldmeri invaded and murdered his wife, son, and daughter in cold blood. Oh. There's... there's a lot of that going around. So, what exactly does this have to do with me? I need you to go try and talk to Valerius. Reason with him. Tell him Marcus Janus requests a meeting with him. Tell him I'll come to the fort alone. Present company excluded, of course. Of course. Give this ring to him. It was his wife's wedding band. Oh. If any of his men try to accost you, show it to them and tell them it is a gesture of goodwill from me. They'll give you quarter if they know I sent you. Approach the guards and show them the ring. Tell them Marcus Janus sent you to see Valerius Tiberius Artoria on urgent business. Show them this note with my seal, but tell them it's for Valerius. His eyes only. Please, return to me as soon as you can. I'll prepare to leave and be ready to go when you return. Make haste, young one. And may fortune favor the foolish. I've become a courier. Alright. Falkreath is bittersweet. The forest is beautiful, but the bones of great Nord heroes lie under the soil here. At least the people won't ever forget them. <laughs> Oop, excuse me, Arvita. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Let's put a bit of a pickle in the plans. I guess that's not a thing that people say. Hmm. 
Well, Helgen's on the way up the mountain. Might as well drop this stuff off before we head up. Nothing against this Val guy, but I would rather not attempt to... Or I guess nothing against Marcus. Kind. I don't really want to attempt... How the heck do we get from here to Helgen? Uh, okay. Doesn't really matter. It's the first time I've had to head for, head for Helgen in a while. Well, hello. Fool. Bad side. Didn't see it. Uh, what was I saying? Nothing against Marcus or this Val guy, but I don't really want to go heading up a mountain with important documents in my hands. So... Away we go. Okay, bandits. Let's see if you actually are these insurrectionists that Marcus was talking about. Should I call him Marcus or should I call him Captain Janus? I don't know, that's pretty much up to you, I think. Um, that's locked. Screw it. You're li <laughs> looks like you're about as good with a lockpick as I am. Uh, maybe a little better. It's a good thing I had them. Hi! Hi! Stop right there. Don't even think about moving. You see my friends coming? They won't hesitate to kill you if you so much as breathe funny. Now, who are you? And what is the meaning of this intrusion? Well, I've Quickly got- Quickly now, speak. I'm working on it. I'm actually not here to start any trouble. Then you need to give me a reason why we shouldn't just kill you where you stand. We're looking for Valerius. Getting used to heavy armor, are you? I can help you get your plates adjusted, if you'd like. <laughs> Maybe later. Um, Valerius, Tiberius, something. We have an urgent matter we need to discuss with him, and I know he's here. Never heard of him. You are mistaken. There's nobody by that name here. Now, be on your way. We don't want to hurt you. I have a message from Marcus Janus. Don't know him either. I'm beginning to run out of patience with you. Leave now. Come on. I know who you are, and you're not bandits. I know bandits. I don't know who you are, stranger, or what you want. But I advise you to choose your words very carefully from here on out. All right. Well, here. A gift from Marcus. It's Val's wife's wedding ring, he says. Let me see that. Hmm. Did you say Marcus Janus? From the war, Marcus Janus. Why didn't you say so? I did. And I have a letter from him to Valerius, his eyes only. Very well. I will take you inside. But all of us have our eyes on you. And if you try and start trouble... It will be the last trouble you ever start. <laughs> Follow me. You don't know who I am, do you? That's fine. Lydia? Good, keep your shield handy. Alright. Lead on. Oh. Kinsman. <laughs> Did you see the scythe eye he gave you?
Alfred, what do you think you're doing? Who is this person, and why have you brought them here? He has an urgent message for you from Marcus Janus. He was alone, and I thought you would want to talk to him. What? Marcus Janus? Balfring, have you gone completely mad? That's impossible. I thought the same thing, sir. You're but it's true. He showed me a letter to you with Marcus's seal. It's I real, all right. Worried. And, sir, You're somehow Marcus has found Sabrina's wedding ring and Lydia, sent it still to here. you. Very well. Shh. All right. We'll Just remember this. that I'm responsible Balfring, for you. Yeah, I know. So I know. don't get stabbed, shot, or flayed alive. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are or why you're here. So you'd better have some good answers to my questions. May I see that ring? Well, yeah, as long as... No one's gonna stab me in the back around here. I don't know who you are or why you're here. So you'd better have some good answers to my questions. May I see that ring? Yes, you may. Here you go. So you were sent by Marcus Janus? Where is he now? He's in Falkreath, waiting for me to return with your answer. And do you know how he came into possession of this ring? I have no idea. He must have found it in the Imperial City or something. Yes, yes, I suppose that may have been possible, but I... This is all so overwhelming. Telling me. Not often I'm escorted by bandits into a place I nearly died. But I'm sorry for the loss of your family. Thank you. I love them very deeply. I nearly went mad after they were murdered by those Altmeri dogs. I wanted nothing but vengeance. Every day of my life is burned with nothing but the desire to make them pay for their murders. But enough of that. Uh, let's see this letter you brought. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Marcus Janus, it's certainly you, all right. But what do you want with me? Tell me, how has he found me here? Ah, uh, he heard there was a bandit in this fort named Val, and he thought it might be you. Very clever, that one. Always was. Bandits. <laughs> It's not far from the truth, though. A fitting ruse is that's about what we've become. Living our lives in the shadows, hiding and skulking about like some caged skeever looking for his next piece of cheese. You're an honorable man. You said you served with distinction in the war. Honor? Bah. Any honor I had died with the first Aldmeri diplomat I assassinated. I'm not the same man he knew. But no doubt he's filled your head with tales of glory from the war, and stories of the Keepers of Hatu. Oh, I'm afraid that man no longer exists. This hatred, it's consumed me, taken my life. I suppose I would still be rotting down in that damn prison were it not for Marcus. Now I'm just rotting here instead. And rot is nonetheless still rot. The only difference, really, is where and how. Well, I suppose that's a good point. Maybe Marcus can help. Maybe that's why he wants to meet with you. Why would he want to help me? After he sees what I've become, he'll leave soon enough. But, go tell him I'll meet with him regardless. At least then we can say our proper goodbyes to one another. We never got to do that before. Now, be gone. Please, leave me in peace. Of course. Now, where the... Th I told Lydia to wait, didn't I? Yeah, and she kind of wandered off. I'm guessing to scout the perimeter or something. Oh, are you coming? I'm with you, Thane. Good. Oh. Yes, you want to... Thank you. Look, I'm not interested. Whatever you're thinking, you're barking up the wrong tree, sir. So that's Val. And this guy's name was Balfring, I think. Is she right? Your name's Balfring? Nothing new to talk about right now, friend. Stay safe out there. Alright, fair enough. Okay. Hey, 
first try. Nice. So... Now we have two things that we need to do. I prefer if we go tend to the file first. Again, the Relian's not getting any younger and... If we have a chance to save him, I'd like to take it. I was the one to retrieve the file in the first place, so I feel kind of responsible for this. Good point. Alright. Headed up the mountain and then we'll come circle back around to Falkreath, I guess. That'll be fun. I think you've started to give off a certain impression. A certain... what? <laughs> what kind of impression? Well... Balfring is the third person in the space of a couple of days that I've heard call you he. <laughs> I wonder if it's the scar. They all just kind of assume until I start talking, probably. I don't know, maybe. Of course, that doesn't really hold up since both he and Quintus heard you talking, presumably, before... What happened here? This pass is cursed. Ugh, seriously. I think we've got bandits around here somewhere. Heads up. Never should have come here. Yep. Hey! Where? Oh. You just like that. Now you pay the price. Where's that one? <laughs> Thank the gods for heavy armor. Hey, speaking of which, Lydia. Thane. You said you could adjust my armor plates? Sure thing. Just hold still. I'll get them fixed up for you. Thanks. <laughs> Let's go. Doesn't feel much different, but I trust your... Archery is a good skill to take up. There's always a good moment between when a foe sees you and when they're close enough to hit you. She has a good point there. <laughs> we were actually talking about that on the road to Whiterun. Thinking about... How there weren't really... Oh. How we didn't really have an archer with us anymore. She looks like Zaytest. That's... What were they... What were they transporting? Just gold, I guess. You might as well take it. They're not gonna use it and we might... you know... We might be able to do something with it. True. And I'll take this stuff up to the Greybeards, cause... <laughs> Gods know they need it. Still here. That was an unlucky care of ban. There's more of them. There he is. How many of you are there exactly? Jeez. Ah, well, there goes the head. Getting used to heavy armor on you. Thanks, but I... I think they're adjusted. <laughs> Who the... Well, 
Let's get out of here before more of them show up. Welcome to the Villamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Thanks. Um... Eh, don't worry, we'll hang out around here. Just be careful on your way up, eh? Yep. Where did... Where did my faithful house Carl run off to? Gods only know. Oh, there you are. I think I owe you a bit of an apology, Thane. Uh... What do you mean? You think I finally killed that dragon? Or, or you finally think I killed that dragon, rather? Not alone, at least. Every guard that fought alongside you was just as much of a hero. But it's clear as day that you can hold your own in a skirmish. I shouldn't have doubted you in that regard. In fact, I should be grateful that out of everyone, Jarl Balgruf made me your house, Carl. It's good to get out of the walls, and you're not some stuck-up merchant. I can only imagine what it'd be like if he assigned me to guard Nazim. <laughs> Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. <laughs> you sound exactly like him. <laughs> I don't know, I think I need to work on it. But... Yeah, you're right, those guards were heroes. I wonder what they're doing now. You don't see any of them being made thane, though. Uh, that's fair. I'm sorry, that wasn't directed at you. It's just that... We've got a war going on all around us. Every day, men and women from all over Skyrim die fighting to keep the Empire together. Or to free their homeland. And the Jarls are honoring merchants. It makes me sick to my stomach. Well... The war is over now, and it was sad to see so many good men and women die like that. Only to be forgotten, really. That's the one issue I have with you being dubbed a Thane. In a hundred years, they'll sing about how the Dragonborn saved Whiterun, not how Skyrim's sons and daughters fought for their homeland. It's not your fault, though. It's a somber topic, but I'm glad we had this conversation. I don't want to sound ungrateful, either. I'm happy to be out here fighting alongside you. You being Dragonborn, it's bigger than I initially thought. I thought most of that was just some silly legend. Nord nonsense, as Preventus called it. <laughs> You are- You being Dragonborn. It's bigger than I initially thought. I thought most of that was just some silly legend. Nord nonsense, as Preventus called it. <laughs> Aren't you a Nord? I know, I know. But you have to admit, we have some far-fetched stories. Ever hear the one about how we were once all transformed into children, and saved by King Wolfharth, but you can learn the power that killed the High King of Skyrim in seconds. There has to be some truth to this. You might be more deserving of that title than I ever thought. So... <laughs> do you want to wait here with Yarnvita, or come with me up to the throat of the world? Still here. Right. I think it's best if you wait here, come on. Welcome to the Villamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Nothing against you, obviously, it's just... Thane. Easier for me to get up there if I'm not having to turn around and wait for people. Alright. Just remember that I'm responsible for you. So don't get stabbed, shot, or flayed alive. Will do. I think you should continue with your performances. Huh. <sighs> that was good to know she finally recognizes that I'm... Capable.
Now, am I capable of getting that thing up to the top of the... Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Thing. Good morning, Parthenax. Drem Yolok, how are things? Drem Yolok, greetings. <laughs> things are going well then. Lok Thum. Great, I'm here for snow. The time wound is still here. Odd. I wonder if it's up here where I found that weird sword. That'll do. Wow. Kain. This is beautiful. I see that storm coming in. <laughs> I should know better. Kai's gonna send in a storm whether I like it or not. That's just how she is. And she also knows that I like the rain. So... <laughs> Alright, let's get back. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy regions. There you are, Quintus. I think we've got everything. You've got the Briar Heart, right? I do indeed. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Uh, we've got the materials you, request you requested. Thank the gods. I'll get to work on the files straight away. All right. Um, Lydia, I think he needs to use that. L Lydia. Still here. Uh, I would like you to move, please. There. Uh. Oh wait, did he? Master, look. It's the fire. Oh, he. What? Matter. Look, it's refilling with your tonic as we speak. Marvelous. Oh. Oh. Oh no, by the gods, this can't be happening. Oh no. He is gone, but thanks to you, he died knowing his life's work was not in vain. I'm sorry, we were. We were too late. As am I. You acted very nobly in helping my master realize his life's work. Thank you for that. As for myself, I've always been content to simply be an alchemist. I fear keeping the file would just remind me of Norellian's obsession and how it consumed him. Here, keep it. You are as much a part of its legend now as Corral Mill was. I hope it brings you the happiness that my master desired. Now, how would you like me to align the file's properties? I'm not as skilled as Corral Mill. So I'm afraid it will only ever refill with one type of liquid. Um... Healing. Seems appropriate. I understand. I'm sorry, Quintus. 
Uh, let's get out of here so that... Whoever needs to deal with that can deal with it. I'm... Sorry. Why are you sorry? Because if I hadn't gone off on that whole thing in... In Helgen, then... This wouldn't have happened. We don't know that for sure. I thought he was a goner last fall. I'm amazed he held on so long. Like I said, pretty robust for an elf. Should probably get going before Quintus starts getting weird. <laughs> what do you mean weird? Well, I mean we're standing in his attic, kind of. You gonna be alright? Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? Oh. You, you don't have to try that hard. What are you gonna do now that Norellian's gone? I'll carry on his tradition as best I can. I could spend a lifetime just going over his notes. All right, well, good, I Have guess. Have yourself a great day. I guess that means you've got stuff to keep you busy. You don't really have to pretend to be happy all the time, you know? That is an interesting statement coming from you. Right. right behind you. Where are we going now? Back to Falkreath, I guess. Ha! <laughs> Hi, back to Falkreath. Time to get the carriage. I understand your purchase. <laughs> Alright, so what are you two doing here and why did I have to be here too? Do you remember when Dominique came out here to talk about peace offerings and whatnot? Well, yeah, sort of, but... Uh... Oh... You must be working for the Lord of... Whatever that one clan was. Actually, Mordgood, I am the Lord of Clan Volgahar. Dom is the Lady of Clan Redwater and Cayman is... Well, in this instance, he's acting as my bodyguard. Like you need one. Right, but... Oh! And I have it on good authority that you managed to talk Isran around to at least not killing Lady Gold when she first came here, so... We figured we'd have you as a go-between. Ah, right. Okay, well... What's the message, then? More of a gift, really. Something in good faith to assure Isran and all the Dawn Guard that I will, or at least Clan Svogahar and Redwater will, do our part at keeping rogue vampires off the streets and out of your hair. We'd appreciate your insight as to where such people might be hiding so that we can talk to them first and hopefully turn this into a business partnership that can benefit everyone involved. Even though you prey on people and whatnot? Uh, yes, unfortunately. I mean, there are ways to make it not so... hideous, but when you get right down to it, yeah, we're kind of pest control when you think about it, if you consider bandits pests. Alright, I mean, I'd like to accept the gift, but I know what Isran's gonna say. We kinda just sweep the logistics of having vampires around under the rug. What's to stop you from taking over? That's what Harkin wanted to do. I'm not Harkin, even though he's the one who turned me. Bevec! Bevec is right. <laughs> he was absolutely mad toward the end there, and while the rest of his... Oh, well, my court has somewhat devolved into political showboating, I at least recognize the dangers of having vampires take over anything. I know well what we are and what our place is in the food chain, and I know what happens when populations of large carnivores get out of control. I'm hoping we can be more intelligent than that. With how much some of them revel in being a monster... Well, you get it. Aye, I, I kinda do. Kind of a far-fetched hope for some of them, then. Indeed. The gift I'd like to give you is a symbol of that hope, and something you can use for leverage should you ever need to. It's a weapon, gifted to me by Meridia before all the business with Harkin. Dawnbreaker. It's very effective against vampires, and I feel like in your hands, or in the hands of the Dawn Guard, it's enough of an equalizer to keep things at least civil between us. Oh. But he's still got that bow on his back. And the arrows required to use it for Harkin's purposes are a closely guarded secret. And they'll stay secret if Arden and I have anything to say about it. 
And you're right. We shouldn't just sweep the logistics of all of this under a rug. Lady Gold has her own system for dealing with the vagaries of being a vampire, but Clan Volgaha still does need a bit of remodeling, and not just in terms of the architecture. When last I left Master Marethi, he was working, albeit begrudgingly, on a plan. It's, um... It's an unfortunate way to live, and kind of a grisly existence, honestly, but having compassion for each other and treating mortals as people and not food is... It's the kind of ideal I feel like I shouldn't have to strive for, but here we are. Granted, I'm probably the youngest vampire lord in existence right now, and am sometimes an unquenchable optimist, but I have people around who can steer me in the right direction and keep me aware of the reality I'm now facing, much to my continued chagrin. It might be a slow change, but there will be change, I assure you. Uh... I'll pass the message on to Isran. And I'm with you. I hope we can bring him around to see people as people again. I hope so too. Ah, and before your friends start getting antsy and chase us out of here, your grandfather is in Winterhold right now working on the college. I told him I'd pass on a hello and if you want to go see him, he's there. Gramps is here? Oh my gods! <laughs> I mean, uh, I've got kind of a lot on my plate right now, but I'll have to go see him. And maybe tell Gran. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. <laughs> well, uh, we'll let you go pass the message on to Isran. I wrote some of it out for him in case he doubts you. We should probably get going, though. Hey, travel safe, you two. 